Hi everybody, I'm Chantel Lopez. I'm the founder of Skillful Teaching, an online and live educational company and mentoring program for Pilates teachers. I'm also on the Balanced Body faculty. I'm joined today by my sweet and very talented friend, Maria Bardet, who owns this beautiful studio, Humani Pilates in Sacramento, California. Maria is a high-level intermediate advanced practitioner. When I'm teaching my students and my teachers, I'm often talking about Pilates as physics. So the length of levers, the intensity of angles, and the way that energy and force moves through the body. Today, specifically, Maria and I are going to be working on opposition. So opposition through the limbs to create buoyancy through the middle. And that's going to come through in really all of these exercises. The second piece that we're going to be focusing on is a three-dimensional expansion of the breath via the rib cage. And we'll talk a little bit about that uh, as we get started here. Ready? So standing at the back of the chair, just find feet together, strong legs pressing down into the earth, and then inhale, start with expanding rib cage front to back. So you almost feel like as the back ribs expand toward the mirror, the xiphoid process, the base of the sternum is gonna unfold toward the windows. Exhale deeply, and then pick up this little seed of low abdominal strength. Inhale into the back, Unfurl the base of the sternum forward, and then exhale, pick up the strength. Move the low belly in and up toward the back of the ribs. That's that upward and backward diagonal. One more time, just front back focus. And then as you exhale, pick this up, but drive the legs down and the crown to the ceiling. Now add side ribs. Inhale, front to back and side to side. Beautiful. Exhale, gather everything up as you narrow the waist and get a little bit taller. Once more, inhale, side to side, front to back. Now keep the sense of openness through the ribs as you exhale. Yes, 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 yes. And you're ready to go. Bring the hands to the front of the chair, thighs to the back of the chair, and come in a sustained diagonal plank. Then you're gonna take one more preparatory breath, find lift up off the arm bones, and then bring the hands one at a time with control to the pedal. Lovely, Maria. Strong push through the arms as you lift to the center. Exhale as you press the pedal down and lift the thighs high. Find a nice deep squeeze at the gluteal fold. Inhale, length first, then up second. Exhale as you go out first and down. Yes, yes. Inhale longer and up now. Inhale, 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 up, 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 but keep pressing the arms into the pedal. And exhale out and then down. Arms keep energy through the pedal to the floor. Inhale, up and out and out and out and out and out and more up and more out and last one, exhale. That's it, a little higher with the legs, Maria. And inhale out and then up and up and up and up and up. And then exhale, stay here. Pick up this low belly a little bit more and bring your hands to the chair top with control. Find that sustained diagonal plank one more time. And find, that's it, three-dimensional breath. Feet to the floor. Nicely done. <laughs> Turn on around, sit bones off the back edge of the chair. And when you come back into reverse swan, find your balance point first by pulling the low belly in to gather the legs in and up. Circle the arms up and around into your teaser position. And then one preparatory breath. Pull those leg bones into the belly. That's it. By circle the arms and find the back of the chair. That's it. Exhale to press the chair down. Think long through the spine. Even energy through the arms. Now inhale. Arms down, spine up. That's it. Exhale. Legs pull into the belly. And up, 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 up. And exhale. Now, as you come up, keep pressing the arms down and keep pulling the legs in. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. More and more and more, just at the top. Last one. That's so beautiful, Maria. And up you come. Up, 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 up. Pull the pedal with you this time. That's it. And then circle the arms around. Yeah, you got it. Take a breath and fold the legs in and find the floor. <laughs> Woo, nice work. <laughs> come on around to the front. So we've been working on one heavy at two. We're gonna add a heavy at two for our last three exercises. Moving into lunges, bring your hands to the chair top, right foot onto the pedal, press the pedal down, step up onto the pedal, and then bring your left foot up onto the chair top. Okay, hands and I dream of genie arms. Ah, this is going to be like our suspension point, right? So and it's driven by the three-dimensional breath, but it's also driven by the work that's going to happen through the arms and the legs. Arms are pressing down, and then a dynamic work through the legs, which is 
a long press through the right leg, the pedal leg, and a lifting up from underneath um, the left leg. So you're going to inhale deeply, don't go anywhere, and then exhale, go up first as you, yes, beautiful, as you press the right leg down. Inhale, wide ribs to go down. That keeps you floating upward, upward, so you don't have to work so hard to regain the height as you come up. Yes, that's it. Inhale. Nice and you drop your chin, just a little relax the neck. Exhale as you go up, exhale. Beautiful, one more. Inhale. Exhale, all the way to the top, with control, with control. Beautiful, yes, take a breath. <sighs> Step back with the left foot, find the pedal. There you go. I want you to take a big breath in as you start to travel down. That keeps you up, that keeps the energy through the center. Exhale, stand into the bottom leg. Lift up from under the right leg. Inhale to bring you down. Exhale up. That's it. Now smooth it out. Smooth the transition out from top to bottom. There you go. Good. I love how the breath gets quieter but more intense. Low belly lifts. Last one, Maria. Exhale all the way up. And then inhale. Slow now. Take in as much air as you can through the ribs and plant the pedal. Beautiful. Hands to the chair top. Step back. So awesome. Right into pull-ups. Make sure the feet are in the center of the pedal. A lot of energy through the back of the legs for this exercise, as well as that oppositional quality. So pushing the arms down strongly into the pedal as you press the legs down into the pedal is what helps to propel you upward. So you're gonna take an inhale, exhale, press the legs and arms down to lift the center up. That's it. Find a little connection between the nose and the pubic bone. Take the inhale into the back to let the pedal float down. That's it. A little more, a little more. Exhale. Gather the back of the legs. Press strongly through the feet. That's so gorgeous. Inhale. Yes, lovely. Exhale. Find the connection between nose and pubic bone. Last two, Maria. And exhale. Strong legs pressing down, arms pressing down. Last one. And slow, slow, slow to the bottom and rest. Yeah, so great. Beautiful. Really great work. Come on around. Our grand finale, and probably the hardest, which is kneeling cat on the chair. Come forward a little bit of center. So even though the knees are not going to be totally together, because we want to keep the base wide enough to support you, inner thighs are really charged and engaged. I'm going to do it three times. I'm going to assist you with the legs twice, and then on the third time, you're going to be on your own. Okay? A little on your own. I'll give you some spotty. I won't let you fall. Okay. Arms to, <laughs> arms to the sky. Exhale and begin to curl. Now use your glutes a little sooner, that's it. So press up into my hand so you can feel the back. Yes, yes, I'm not gonna let you fall. So find the back body, find the pedal, both hands touching at the same time. Take another three-dimensional breath and then exhale, dive down. Like you're going down a pipe, very tight, very tight pipe. Now don't bring the pedal down too far before you start your extension. Extension happens from the heart, that's it. So we're gonna stay here for just a moment. Move the heart forward into the floor as you sweep your sit bones wide and back to the upper corner of the wall. Take a big inhale here. Maintain the opposition, Maria, as you pull in and up, glutes active, that's it. Press up into my back hand, just to the top of the tension, and then dive back down, exhale. Inhale, extend out, open up, open up, open up, but keep the energy moving through the arms and legs. Exhale, deep belly curls, glutes more, 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 more. That's it, last time we go down there, extend out, 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 big breath in, Three-dimensional expansion, exhale, and now, here you go. Press your hips forward, pull your belly up, both hands, both hands, both hands, all the way to the top, arms to the sky, and then down, and off the chair. You're all done, thank you, thank you, thank you.